Hi, what's good everyone? Hope everyone is doing well today and has been. It's been, uh, I think, a week since I posted. Sorry about the delay. So, wanted to come with a message today, as always. Still crowd and free. You know, one of the things I appreciate most, maybe, is walking down the street and seeing somebody light up, whether it's tobacco or other, and smelling that. And I just don't have the urge to smoke anymore. Same with even drinking. Like, I, you know, I, I see drunk people in the street. Not jealous. Not jealous. So, um... What did I want to say today? Oh yes. So when it comes to external factors, like you can you can let that stuff impact you. When I was younger, I mean, not that much younger. Like I, I've reached a certain point in my life now, but even like a year ago, when I was still vaping and smoking, I would let external stuff. Um, I would let external stuff make me smoke again. Like, I would let that trigger me, you know? Like, like right now, inflation is bad, right? The economy sucks, okay? There's, there's a lot of politics going on. There's, you can let so many things, and then all the personal stuff that you guys have going on in your life, you can let it all drag you down and make you negative and make you pick up that addiction, or, you can be like, you know, this sucks. Like we're, we're in a tough time, but I'm not gonna let that bring me back to the lowest point that I was at before, you know? Keep walking through the fire. That's what I would recommend. I'm never going back, I don't know about you guys. So I'd rather, I'd rather be able to smell flowers and you know, di different scents and I just appreciate the little things more now, and especially getting off Kratom. I, like, you appreciate taste a lot more. I can tell you that for a fact. And music. So, you know, I hope I'm still adding value with these videos. Um, life is so much better without uh, without the addiction, guys. So I re really hope that I can help. Um, message of today is don't let out external factors control your addiction and, and your, your emotions and your habits. Stay level. Don't go off the deep end on one way or the other, you know? You gotta try to control your emotions. That's what I would say. Because stress is real. In fact, actually, I can tell you about this. So this week, I don't know what it was. Um, but I, in the morning, it might just be a lack of sleep, a lack of eating. But I, I felt some really strong anxiety in the morning. Like almost as strong as when I was when, like... In the, within the first week of quitting Kratom. So, I don't know what that was, but um, that was weird. But it, it's gone now. So, so I'm learning to deal with and cope with, with emotions, you know? Like a normal person every day. And it's, it's just something that you gotta get better at as time goes along. So, you know, if you've if you've quit Kratom recently, or if um, Kratom, um, however Kratom, everybody pronounces it differently, I guess. But um, you know, you're gonna feel or whatever the substance is, you're gonna feel emotions. You gotta learn to deal with those stresses, whether it's external, internal. It's just something to get stronger at. It's a skill to to pick up. It's a good thing. You know, you can look at it positively or negatively. Be strong. I've said it multiple times throughout my videos. I always say it. Conquer the world. Think bigger. Be positive. You know, love life. Enjoy the small things. And kick butt. 
All right, I'm gonna end this video for today, but I hope again that you are well and healthy and these videos are, are doing something for you and I'll be back next time. Thank you guys, bye-bye.